Yes, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, my channel name changed. Um, it changed from Taurus Star Tarot, which is fine. Y'all can still call me that. That's fine by me. But I changed it to Deep Thoughts with Dana because um, my my stuff's expanding and growing, and it's just a better name for reaching more people than just people who are looking for tarot card readings you know what I mean because I plan to put some more stuff on my channel so anyway hope you're sitting down because this is a big one this is a huge reading okay a huge reading so buckle up press pause button buck or, or better yet let those ads play and um grab something to drink and sit down because we got a good one here okay all right First of all, I want to talk about this. Well, first of all, I want to say if you want a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we have this whole reading right here, right? But I have a mini reading on top of it. And I'm going to read the mini reading first. And then we'll start and we'll do this big reading, okay? So I don't know. This, to me, is the prelude to this to the beginning of this reading it's almost like a like a like a soap opera you know and you get like a like a recap of what happened before so I think this is what this is it's really really cool and the cards never cease to amaze me so 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 ignore these cards focus on these cards okay so we have the five of swords right this is conflict this is conflict it's um, a little bit more than just conflict, though. It's it's a sense of it's a sense of it's conflict that's rooted in betrayal, right? In betrayal, it's conflict that's rooted in betrayal, and this conflict broke your heart. There was truth that was spoken that broke your heart and made you walk away. went your own way, independent woman with the nine of pentacles, right? Self-sufficiency, just walked away, went your own way. High priestess says that, that you know that you are better off on your own, creating your own abundance than to put up with bullshit like this. Creating your own opportunities With the Seven of Swords, you are, um, you're, you're, this is about betrayal, deception, right? Shady behavior in general. But on the flip side, it's about breaking free, right? So you're breaking free from this whole situation right here, however long that's taken, right? I mean, it could take, it, it might be years, but you're, you're breaking free. However... Or, or you've broke free, okay? You broke free because this is the past, right? This is the past. Um, so you broke free, but you, you've you kept sowing seeds. You've kept tending to this relationship that you had right here, this person that the conflict rooted in betrayal that broke your heart, that person. Um, you've kept sowing seeds. You've kept, you've, you've kept an eye, right? In hopes of one day your wishes being fulfilled, happiness and satisfaction in your life with this person. Even though they did this to you and you did the right thing and you turn tail and you're like, screw this. I'm the freaking empress, right? I'm the empress. I don't play with bullshit like this. Either you're in or you're out. It's ride or die with the Taurus, right? It's ride or die. And you knew that you were worth more than this. So you went about your own business. You went around your own way, self-sufficiency, right? Knowing that, that this is, it's just, you, you know, I mean, it's just the, what you should have done. But you've always maintained hope. And you've always kept in touch and you've always planted seeds based on, based on the fact that you despite this see oh my gosh look ha huh? sorry about that i don't even know what the hell oh that's nail polish sorry guys 
um, based on the fact that, that you saw value in this somehow, some way. Because the Empress just doesn't hang around for the sake of hanging around, right? She has much better things to do. But for some reason, you always kept a hold on this because you see the value of what this could have been had this person not been stupid, right? And I think that's what it boils down to. So anyway, that was the mini reading right there, right? All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now let's do this reading. <coughs> so we start out with, it's been a struggle, right? With the Ten of Wands, it's been a struggle. That whole little reading that I just did ends and then starts, right? That was the prelude. Now here's the conclusion. So that whole situation was a huge struggle and a huge burden for you, right? Um, just a huge, it was just a struggle. Just a freaking struggle, right? And the struggle with this relationship, I think, has been that you have been left feeling very insecure about somebody that you have a lot of feels for, okay? You just were left feeling very insecure, don't know, didn't know where you stood. Um, hiding in the shadows almost, right? I mean, not that this queen is hiding in the shadows, but y you know what I mean. Just just kind of like a queen would, sitting back and just, just observing the situation, waiting to make judgment, right? So insecure about being kept waiting or insecure about whatever that broken heart thing was, but still holding on, right? Still, you have the feels for this person. You just do. This person is the Prince of Cups, the, the metaphorical knight in shining armor, right? Romance, charm, this is the person, this is the focus of your affection right here, right? This Prince of Cups. What clarifies the Queen of Cups to the Prince of Cups is the Princess of Cups. Are y'all dealing with a water sign? Because there is just so much water all over this reading. Just saying. Doesn't have to be, but I'm just pointing out that there is a ton of water all over this reading. So the Queen of Cups to the Princess of Cups. To, the Queen of Cups to the Prince of Cups to the Princess of Cups, right? So feels next to a knight in shining armor clarified by she's a messenger of a creative new beginning right she's a messenger of a creative new beginning so there's you there's your interest there's the creative new beginning all of this is wrapped up in feels and warm fuzzies and and feelings of love right because they're cups they're water energy pisces cancer scorpio and then strength comes in and says that you um, need to have some strength. Why do you need to have some strength, Taurus? Well, because there is some communication coming in, some communication going out that is absolutely going to kill something. It's going to absolutely end something. The hermit... You, you go into hermit mode, right? You lock down, go into hermit mode. You got to digest this shit because whatever this is, is heavy. I mean, whatever this is, something has ended. Go into hermit mode. Some soul searching, seeking some inner guidance, some wisdom, right? Because this whole situation was a tower moment for you. It's, I don't know if it's sudden change, upheaval, chaos, a revelation, an awakening, an epiphany of some sort. I don't know. That's all for a personal reading. But in this general reading, something, the, this communication back and forth that put an absolute end to something was a tower moment for you. It caused you to take swift action, movement, swift action, speed. In regards to communicating, okay, I can't say that it caused you to do this, but it caused this tower moment in this relationship, okay? 
Let me retract back there. This tower moment in the relationship caused the hermit mode, right? Caused the tower is the root of the action and the movement with the eight of wands. Princess of wands comes in and says, princess of wands comes in and says, um, passionate excitement and passionate communication. Little bitty though, little bitty, little bitty, little bitty. It's just a page, right? It's a princess. It's just a page. Little bitty passionate messages. And the magician comes in, the alchemist. This is a card about inspired action, right? So this whole situation right here, this whole situation right here, the culmination of it all is inspired action. This inspired action is going to create the Ten of Cups. It's going to create harmony in the relationship, happiness, alignment, right? Blessed by the High Priestess. Knowing that you know that you know that this is divine timing for sure. Divine timing. Sit down with that high priestess for a minute and you think about all of this because um, this is big, right? This is a huge, gigantic change. So you sit down with the high priestess and you, you think about your future, right? You think about the movement that you're going to make and the next steps that you're going to take to, to move forward in what just happened right there in regards to a love relationship with the Two of Cups. Three of Wands talks about preparing, preparing to expand, right? Preparing to expand in regards to this relationship. Look, in regards to commitment, in regards to, to a serious commitment, right? However, this, remember, in the prelude to this reading, it talked about there was some serious conflict rooted in betrayal that had broken your heart, right? Well, here it is. So you got all this beautiful stuff going on here, but you still have this to deal with. Okay, this doesn't just go away. You have to deal with this. The devil is the representation of the five of swords and the three of swords in the prelude, right? It's this devil represents the conflict and the heartbreak that happened in this relationship. He represents the Seven of Swords, the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior. Because that person had choices. That person had choices of options in regards to who or what makes him happy and brings his wishes home. And he did not choose you because it caused a lot of conflict. Internal conflict, external conflict, competition, disagreements, right? So you got that right there. So what happens? What happens? Well, what happens is there is passionate communication with the Prince of Wands, clarified by the Page of Wands, more exciting passionate communication that brings absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity. That's what happened up there, remember? Absolute mental clarity and put something to an end. So this reading tells you what's going on reiterates why or what your concerns are right here because we said we have to address this, right? So it reiterates what these concerns are right here. It's funny that this whole reading is rooted in the commitment card, right? So this is the same thing that happened up here. There's communication that's going to go back and forth and it's going to bring some absolute clarity to the situation and put in an end to something. This creates 
forward movement, progress in the situation, towards the Four of Wands, harmony, between you, celebration, and this card also means transition, transition. Five of Wands. Now, yes, what the hell is that? Yes, the Five of Wands. This is a card about disagreements, competition, strife, tension, and conflict. On the flip side of this card, <coughs> excuse me, it's about an increased focus on goals, right? So, an increased focus on goals in regards to the Six of Cups, reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. Clarified by the Two of Cups, a love relationship, you have the feels for each other. The Empress, blessed by the Empress. You have this, this right here, blessed by the High Priestess. You have this right here, blessed by the, by the Empress. To create abundance, right? To create abundance, fertile ground. This new relationship, this reconciliation is after explanation and understanding that changes everything. This is now fertile ground by which to sew these pages together, right? By which to grow these little messages and these little communications and these little coming togethers, right? To grow into something abundant. And you know why? Because of the Nine of Wands. Because of your persistence and your faith in the situation and your resilience. Remember in the prelude, it was all about, it was all about, you kept sowing those seeds though, even though he, they broke your heart and um, um, betrayed you, right? And you carried on and started doing your own thing and perfectly happy about it, perfectly happy about it, right? But you kept sowing those seeds. And this Nine of Wands says, because you did, this is what is going to shake down for you now. Isn't that amazing? That's such, that's so amazing. The cards just never cease to amaze me. So there you go, Taurus. That is your, your reading. And I do really hope that you um, enjoy it. I hope that it helps. If you want anything personal from me, you can reach me at, as I almost said, Taurus Star Tarot. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste, my friends.